Alright, welcome to the next 3D Quick Tips tutorial video. We're going to be talking about how to poly model uh, bevels or fillets with a uh, smaller internal radius uh, than the external radius. So, typically when we poly model, we'll get a result like this, where the inner and outer radius are the exact same length. And what we want is a smaller inner radius. So, quickly, let's just take a look at uh, this thing and talk about the logic of making uh, fillets. Okay, so when you look at this, you'll notice that there's a bunch of uh, different fillets, right? And they all have different lengths and widths, and they uh, get a little bit bigger. So basically what, how you want to think about uh, fillets can be like this. So imagine drawing a you know, 90 degree angle, or a right angle, and these two lines are perpendicular. And so basically on your fillet, no matter what the radius length is or just whatever the length is I don't know if radius is the way to word, right word I'm bad at math but yeah whatever the length is like basically it'll always end on those perpendicular lines um, so when we're modeling this is a good way to know what to do so basically what we're going to be creating today is uh, both of these shapes and I'll show you how using the same trick but so basically what we're going to do let's draw out a plane draw two lines and this point is going to be our uh, our uh, corner so I'm going to inset this pretty big yeah sorry I'm modeling a little bit slow all right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to bevel this uh, just so you notice it's going to make a mess here when you try and bevel all this so what I do is I delete these first. Don't worry about those, and we'll just clean it up and change it later. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna notice once we hit chamfer, right, is that the uh, inner and outer radius is exactly the same, which is obviously not desirable. So what we wanna do is we want to create these guidelines. And so what the chamfer modifier does is it'll actually get stuck to these. And so basically this is that 90 degree right angle, right? And this is the, the edge of the outer radius. So let's take this. We've added these. These two lines are equidistant. The width of these is equidistant, which means that we're going to have a nice, even, uh, perfect fillet. So all we have to do now is chamfer. So make sure that you're on the standard chamfer, not the quad chamfer. And let's see, make sure I was recording my mic. All right, yeah. So if we turn down the segments, you'll notice that the inner radius is now smaller and lining up with these uh, perpendicular lines. So let's hit OK. You'll notice too that these lines are selected and doubling up on these edges here. So since they're selected by default, I just press Y, which is my hotkey for uh, remove loops. So let me show you that really quick. And I learned this a long time ago from a tutorial with a uh, What's his name? Yeah, so it's this one, remove loop. Now let's remove those loops immediately. Cool, so we've created our first chamfer. And so over here, I've created the same shape with those lines, but a three-dimensional three shape. And so you can see now, we have that same effect. You just delete those extra edges, reset your smoothing groups, and you're good to go. Hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you want any other ones. Cool.